suicide is a topic nobody wants to talk about. It's very uncomfortable and for good reason. Losing a loved one to suicide isn't a game. It's not trendy. It's not fun. But we never talk about doctor-assisted suicide. We talk about hospice as people we are willing to say, well, give them a shot of morphine and they'll die off. Or let them die passively, which is the case across this country. But people don't want to talk about when the terminally ill just want it over with. We have a society not concerned with the choice of the individual, but the choice of society. If we allow doctor-assisted suicide, A and B will happen, and if A and B happens, then we will have monkeys on Mars. It doesn't really follow. Their logic is shit. But when their logic isn't shit, they do raise a good point. Should you entrust the state with doctor-assisted suicide? No. Are you insane? I don't believe the state should get involved in doctor-assisted suicide for the very reason why they shouldn't get involved in anything else. Because the state has an incentive to lower costs, they're gonna push doctor-assisted suicide as a result to lower costs. So no, the state should not be in charge of doctor-assisted suicide. Period. Does everybody remember the Tea Party and how they said in regards to Obamacare there would be death panels? Yeah, that exact thing would happen if you tried having the state run doctor-assisted suicide slash euthanasia. As aforementioned, they would try to cut costs and they would encourage suicide. We've seen that in Canada for God's sake. There was a veteran of the Canadian Armed Forces who actually tried getting a ramp put into his house from the VA of Canada. They said they couldn't do it, but they could totally give him a shot full of morphine. Now, if it's privatized and it's its own private clinic and it's subject to market forces, I believe that if somebody wants to go into a euthanasia clinic and want to end their lives, they should be able to. Then people are like, well, then it's about profit, but with the state, it's about the common good. Well, that's a crock of shit because guess what? Everything has a profit motive in the market. However, with government, they are just temporary caretakers who will take what they want and will cut costs in order to fulfill that need. However, in a market, it is subject to certain forces. If there is a clinic that is pushing suicide on people who should not be eligible for it, then guess what? Market forces will basically say, well, that's a shady fucking clinic. We're not going to go to that clinic and we're going to boycott that clinic. However, the individual should have the right to go into a clinic and their lives for whatever reason they see fit. Now, is that an agreeable reason? Well, absolutely not. People shouldn't kill themselves, but people should have the freedom to decide for themselves whether they want to end their lives or not. We have a right to life in this country, and part of the right to life should be the decision of when to end that life. And that decision falls to the individual, not that of the state, not that of other people, but the individual themselves. If they want to end their lives and they find somebody else who is willing to end their life or help them do so, they should be able to do that without government interference, period. If a person owns themselves according to first principles and the guiding principles of natural law, they should be able to do with themselves as they please, so long as they are not hurting other people. Suicide is an action that may emotionally hurt somebody, but but it does not physically deprive anybody of their rights or property. Therefore, if a person wants to jump off a bridge, kill themselves with whatever implement they want, or go to a clinic and get euthanized, they should be able to, period. The common counter-argument you will always hear is the people always, well, what of the loved ones? What if they were in the same situation that their loved one who is terminally ill was in? Would they feel so against euthanasia if they were in the same position as the loved of one that has terminal illness? Would they really be so against euthanasia if they were in that exact position? If they were in the absolute pain of the person with terminal illness? I don't think so. Whether or not the person kills themselves or dies naturally, there is going to be grief. However, if you are going to prolong pain and suffering of a terminally ill patient or somebody who just doesn't feel that they are here or whatever, they have a problem, a medical problem and they just don't want to go through the pain, who are you to put them through that pain until they die naturally? Like, what type of self-righteousness is that? What type of person would look at a person in absolute pain and not say, okay, this person is in pain, they should be able to have the choice whether to end their life or not and go peacefully. Now, the counter argument is there is no death and dignity. Well, who are you to decide that is the case? If people have a right to life, they have the right to decide what their 
their life is going to be, they should be able to decide how it ends, period. Okay, let's ask a hard question. Is it ethical to keep somebody in pain when they don't want to be in pain anymore? When the case is that pain will never go away until they die naturally? I get it. Emotional pain is real, but it's not as real as the person who is in a terminal illness struggling every single day just to survive. They are in pain, way more pain than anybody can ever imagine. Who are you, of all people, to think your pain is more than their pain? I don't think the government or people should be making decisions for other people's bodies. Now, discounting the pro-life crowd of abortion, which many are pro-suffering when it's about suicide, you have the so-called pro-choice people saying, we are for your own choice for bearing a child, but not when it's about your own body and when you're in pain. You should just suffer through it until you die naturally, in pain. Without your faculties or dignity, you should just die naturally like everybody else. It's funny how the pro-choicers and pro-lifers actually agree on something. I'm not saying coping with suicide of a loved one is easy or is any better for them to die the regular way, but why is it in the debate of euthanasia and doctor-assisted suicide we don't actually consult the people in pain? Each person should decide for themselves what their life should be and how it should end. Is it fair for a terminally ill person that attempted suicide to be dragged back to their existence because society finds it distasteful? That's the question I want to leave on and I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend and have a wonderful time. Please subscribe, like the video, and share around. This has been The Executioner asking the hard questions of life. Thank you very much.